So today I'm building a couple anchors here for our climbing wall. Just thought I'd show you what we're doing. So in a commercial setting like this, uh, we have um, the steel roof joist. That's a really common option um, to tie into for an anchor setup. The other common option um, that you'll see a lot is where you're building the anchors directly onto your climbing wall. Um, and that goes, it ties into the steel structure behind um, where you're anchoring into the steel framing so you're building a structural anchor. You're never just building into the plywood. And so for this setup, because of our steel roof joists, the lining of them, it works out really nice that we can use those and we're gonna build anchors off that. So I'm just gonna show you that style um, if that works for your setup. And so here we're doing the True Blue um, the IQ, again, these things have liability all over them. So get out your uh, owner's manual, make sure you're following that. Uh, it's pretty important as far as even just uh, your insurance companies and liability and making sure that you're doing it to spec. Uh, so for this one, your primary anchor is right in the center of the, of the auto blade here. And let's talk through just that line. And so from here, we're using a 50 kilonewton carabiner. And this is just to hit the, the specs that we need to for the anchor. And we're coming up into a grade 120 chain. And so this working load limit on this 3 8 inch chain is 10,600 pounds. And so this is well overbuilt. And then on an audibly, you just need a loose secondary. This is your backup. So this is never actively holding weight. It's just your loose in case something fails. And so we have a 48 inch runner uh, the runner is rated for 22 kilonewtons, and then again, another 50 kilo, kilonewton carabiner. And so this is by far the weakest, but at 22 kilonewtons, it's still plenty strong. Um, and this is a really nice beefy anchor setup. Uh, one thing as you're thinking about your steel joists uh, is all the structural integrity of your steel joists is gonna be up at the top. And so always make sure that you're running the chain up and over the top. Uh, you're never going to want to build an anchor down here at the bottom. It's just not how they're designed. And so I'd bring in your structural engineer when you're building your wall. Have them go ahead and look at your, your ceiling, your steel roof joists. Um, have them get the working load on those and understand, you know, how they're going to work for building your anchor. Because um, that could be a great option depending on what you have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. This is the, the Autoblade setup. You know, again, steel, going, steel chain going over the top with our 50 kilonewton carabiners. I'm gonna go ahead and build another one on the steel joist here, and I'm gonna do a top rope setup for this one. And we're gonna just have one of each here in the shop.